Well, everyone, I'm back. Uh, I finished recording my sight mark wraith daytime. I'm just testing it out, using it for multiple reasons. I'm potentially I might get into hunting. It is a scope rifle scope after all, or scope. Um, use it for wildlife videography, and also it's a night vision. It's uh, kind of like a telescope, so to speak. And uh, got to see some wildlife in action. Uh, two dead squirrels. Two dead squirrels uh, getting eaten by, uh, looks like three. How you doing? Looks like getting eaten by uh, three turkey vultures. They look like turkey vultures. That's kind of what I wanted to uh, video today, something like that. And sure enough, I did. It's kind of hunting-ish related. I'm not going to take the... Uh, it's really... It's, it's, it rained over a few days, heavily. And it's not summer, it's winter, so I know it's going to be uh, still wet. So I'm taking the roads. So I'm going to take the roads. And uh, I'm just going to go to the sports center now, or <laughs> not the sports center, sports complex. And I'm going to enjoy some hot chocolate over at the, uh, over at the, uh, the lake. I got my footage, my test footage. I think that's good enough. That was a pretty good test footage. Uh, 12x, you know, I guess that's good enough. At uh, 300, I, I, I estimate about 300 plus yards, 350. You gotta be, uh, I was far enough away not to scare them off. Like when you get close, they start flying away. You know, the turkey vultures. So, at least that far away enough. I didn't scare the turkey vultures, but they were they were eating a dead animal, so they wouldn't fly away immediately. And plus, it seems like they weren't too scared not to come back. soil right here, some of the drainage, it looks wet. If it's wet, it's probably muddy. The grass out here is more yellow, and I'm looking at the, the soil underneath the uh, overpass. It's, it looks damp, damp and wet, so not interested in uh, doing any off-roading today. And uh, I only have three days of nice, bright sunshine, blue skies, and it's gonna rain again. It's forecasted to rain. So, anyways, I'm gonna try to get some airflow so I don't uh, overheat. The body armor really keeps me warm. I'm sweating around my chest, but I can uh, resolve that by just uh, going a little bit faster. It's probably like 60, mid 60s, maybe even upper 60s. In any case, it's not hot and humid. That's good enough for me. Uh, let me test the soil out. I'll go uh, do the shortcut here. Testing soil. Soil test. Tested, sampled. Right here is dry. Uh, I don't want to ride it too hard. I got my sight mark gray in here my scope, night vision scope, that I just tested out during the day. It has a daytime function and a nighttime function. Just wanted to see what it looked like during the day. I guess it's good enough to uh, be used as a scope. It's not that great of a camera, but considering what it is, I'll use it. I mean, at least it comes with a video function and a photo function. No audio, I had to use an external audio.
But uh, hey, whatever works, right? If it worked, it works. That's what matters. Ugh. Anyways, uh, my hands are warm, so I'm not uh, I'm not cold. My hands are not cold. It's just a single glove today. No double gloving, no fleece liner. I'm gonna duck down here just a little bit. Slow down for this guy. It kind of looked like that guy had a switch kit or something. A little, uh, a little electric uh, conversion kit. He had that pack on his uh, handlebar, but I didn't see any. I did not see. I'm gonna take the street. I did not see. Uh, I didn't. I was moving too fast. I was trying to pay attention to where I was going. So I didn't see, uh... I didn't see where he was going. Oh, my, my camera stopped on me. Ah. I'm having camera issues again. Oh. Let's see what I can do about that. Let me remedy the situation. first. Let me cross on the other side and then I'll take care of this thing. Second would be uh, the second would be my helmet mount that just covers everything, whatever I need. Look behind me, side me. It's uh, overall covers everything, but I have to distort the view a little bit. So of course, all all the views are distorted. Okay, now it's going to give me a walk, and if there's nobody coming around, I'll take the street. Okay, I'm going to take the street now. All right, taking street. Yeah, I'm headed to the clubhouse. My toes are warm, the neoprene, the neoprene boots really well. I like it. And it's a simple solution. Cost me like $35. Got it on Black Friday Academy. But uh, you can get this on Amazon as well. It's branded as something else. I'm going to take the shortcut. I'm not going to do the... I'm not going to go around. wet soil, water still here. So just by looking at that, I know the the ground is still wet. 
probably take a while before it dries up because it's, it's winter, so it's like a marshy wet. I slow down for this before I go into the street. Gotta wait for this car. There we go. Alright, I should be at the uh, clubhouse soon enough. I might actually even go and work out a little bit. I did sign the waiver. That's a one-time waiver. You don't have to have an appointment. Go to the fitness center. They're open. I am wearing gloves. I kind of have a mask on. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Then again, I can just do push-ups at home. I'm getting a leg workout using the bike. My legs were kind of sore, but I took a little break and now my legs are all warmed up. I think they were cold. You know, it's, been, it's been a while since uh, I rode the bike and your legs tend to, tend to uh, when they're cold, be a little stiff. Anyways, I'm almost there. My left hand signal. Let people know I'm going to make a left hand turn. this down to three, gear two. Uh, oh, they're having the Santa breakfast. But I don't know who's really going to go. I'm not going to go. They're not having it now, of course. That's going to be closer to December 25th. But uh, anyways. Oh, oh, they got the TV on. Nice. All right, everyone, enjoy the view. Uh, Santa breakfast. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Bye.